It's a queen nest. It's a yellow jacket. I think it's a German yellow jacket. It's an out, non-functional outhouse. Startled her when I opened the door. She should be flying back. You can see her out there. There's actually two German yellow jackets in an old church last year. It's uh, May 11th, 2019. So wait for her to come back. Figure there might be some nest in here. Actually, no, this is a aerial yellow jacket. Dolico vespular in area. And this nest could be a problem um, since it's right by that door. So you open the door and there you can swarm out. You're the buzzing. Just a queen right now, so the queens aren't aggressive. Looks like uh, there's two layers. It's probably about a week old. Price. Yeah, there she is. Haven't seen the nest of this species in a long time. This is the uh, common aerial yellow jacket. One of the two uh, Dolico vespula species uh, in my area in southeastern Pennsylvania. But yeah, if they um, open this, I know it's like restored. So it used to be an out, you can see it's just stones down there, but it's kind of a restored outhouse. So let me see. Hopefully she'll go back to the nest. Actually, gonna go on a bike ride. So, we film on a longer video, but this is just before the ride. It's about 9:45 a.m. Not that it matters, but yeah, should we go back? Come out here. It's just a church. It's a nest right there. There was a Germ German yellow jacket nest in those soffits. There was two of them. So this door closes. See if she goes back now that I'm out. There she goes. So she where she went in at. Real slow. Now the queen's uh, wrapped around up at the top of the comb there and she uh, incubates the brood. There's eggs in there. So she kind of warms the eggs and so you're moving around in there a little bit. But And there should be uh, workers hatching out of this nest uh, by the end of the month. All right. Thanks for watching. And this is the same outhouse. This is a Polystes fuscatus, a northern paper wasp, a brown species, a native species to the United States. Probably gaining access through this little hole here. And then uh, here's the nest. And here's the aerial yellow jacket nest. And here's my hand for comparison. So they're you know, pretty small, but this is an aggressive species. They go off pretty quick. They used to be called Dolico Vespula, or Vespa Diabolica, back in the late 18, early 1900s, because they were so aggressive. But 
Yeah, there's the nest. And I just wanted to mention that all nests, all yellow jacket hornet nests start out this size with a single queen. And then they expand outwards like this nest is, you know, it's 11th of May. And, you know, come, you know, late August, you know, it could be down to here. And it could, you know, touch on like maybe over to here and they would build, they'd probably go up like they'd build an envelope and then it would go out like this. Probably to here and then it would, since it's near the door, the nest would actually, if it's closed like this, the door is closed, it would actually touch. So it would be like along here flat and then out, outwards. And this species, um, so like I said, all nests start out with a single queen and they're, you know, ping pong ball size now in May, early May, mid-May. And then this species can get to, by, you know, late August, there's the queen. By late August, um, there could be, you know, 200 to 400 workers. Just going out to forage. So yeah, um, this species usually only has um, a couple hundred workers in a nest. They don't get as big as, you know, the Eastern Yellow Jacket or the German Yellow Jacket or Southern or Downy, but I'm um, still a cool species. And they finish their cycle usually by the first of September. They're they're finished. Whereas other species, you know, go uh, you know late November, early December. You know, German yellow jacket. She, uh, she's back. Yeah, pretty cool.